So the Las Vegas Raiders have officially begun training camp and we got some interesting footage kind of coming out. We got some interesting uh, videos that are now starting to drop. We're going to just go over OTAs. Uh, you got an interesting video right here. Devontae Adams running routes. Crisp as hell, man. This guy, it just never feels the route running ability of Devontae Adams, man. He just always looks good. He always looks poised. Uh, one of the interesting things with Devontae Adams is uh, I was actually watching recently his game against the Rams uh, and looking at reps where Jalen Ramsey couldn't guard this guy. Like, this guy just flat out would win. Uh, one play comes in mind. It was, a, I think, a third down. It was like a 30-plus yard gain. Left sideline. I mean, he just made it look effortlessly. Uh, I expect a massive season coming out from Devontae Adams. Uh, get into another video here. Uh, here's a look at your quarterback's four OTAs. Obviously, Jimmy Garoppolo is out. Uh, kind of interesting. You got number four, number 15, number seven. Uh, seven is Hoyer. So you see Hoyer right there uh, taking that first snap there. I mean, it looks, looks nice. Definitely looks nice. Takes that first snap. Um, and then Aiden O'Connell's right there as well. I think uh, on this next video, uh, here's Aiden O'Connell taking a snap. Um, you know, play action. It looks interesting, right? Because number four, and uh, for the last you know eight to nine years, our number four has been Derek Carr. So um, it's going to be interesting because Jimmy Garoppolo is obviously not there today. Uh, so we got Aiden O'Connell, obviously Brian Hoyer, and then Chase Garbers, right? I think Garbers is now in his second year with the Raiders. So uh, those three guys will battle it out for number two. Um, ultimately, will Aiden O'Connell be the number two quarterback? That's going to be the interesting thing to see, right? I think most people want it to be Aiden O'Connell, but something tells me the coaching staff may end up not rolling with O'Connell, and they're more likely to roll with Brian Hoyer, especially if we're competing for the playoffs. I think Hoyer probably gives you a better shot if, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo twists his ankle or whatever happens in week nine, right? But we'll see what ends up happening, right? It's obviously an open competition. Uh, we got some stretching here from the Las Vegas Raiders. Shout out to Levi Edwards. Um, absolute great account to follow on Twitter if you guys have Twitter. Uh, the Raiders are stretching. Nothing crazy. One of the things that does kind of stick out to me is... Uh, if you guys look at the person out in front, man, just kind of like last year, you got big number 98, superstar Max Crosby leading the way for the Raiders, uh, the way he's expected to for us for this season. Uh, number two, you got Thayer Monford, who looks pretty damn massive. I mean, you know, just kind of looking at Max Crosby, who in his own right is like 6'6". Monford makes Max Crosby even kind of look small, right? Um... I expect big things from Monford, man. If their Monford can get it together this year, uh, he, he can start, right? There's a possibility for him to start. Um, you know, I like Jermaine Illuminor. We've talked about it in the past. But a lot of people believe the Raiders wanted a right tackle, which could also kind of speak about how they may have felt with a guy like uh, Jermaine Illuminor. Uh, obviously, he's a good tackle. Is he the perfect tackle? You know, it's debatable. Uh, I think he has some upside Obviously, the Raiders have decided they may move forward with someone else. Um, even Thayer Munford, right? That could mean that they weren't 100% sold on Munford either, uh, you know, assuming they wanted Paris Johnson. But Munford looks the, the size, man. He definitely looks the size. I uh, love Max Crosby's effort all the time, man. Uh, let's get into this next video. You got some drills. Uh, you got number 19, number 81, number 84. Uh, let me look at the numbers real quick here. Number 19 is DJ Turner. Number 84 is obviously Keelan Cole. Um, you got 22 is Amir Abdullah, 45. Uh, it's interesting. You got some running backs and fullbacks in there as well. So um, an interesting video, right? You get the coach here kind of waving. Uh, I don't know what that is, like paddles or something. Uh, to try to get into the face of the receivers, right? Try making it a little tough. Kind of interesting how the NFL comes up with these random drills, right? But the NFL is always changing. You know, one of the things that's um, been a big, big deal recently is um, what is the S2 cognition score? I think it's the S2. Um, and so people are talking about how that's like the indicator that you want to use, right? I guess the Ravens were one of the teams. Uh, who's number 83? Uh, I think that was Darren Waller's number. Uh, let me confirm who was 83 here. Uh, Christian Wilkerson has number 83 for the Las Vegas Raiders. That looks kind of weird to see that, and it's not 
uh, you know, it's not Darren Waller. Uh, final video right here. We'll get into some images after this. Uh, you got AJ Cole working on his form. This one comes from Paul Gutierrez. Um, AJ Cole, man, what a, what a beast, man. Isn't it crazy that the Raiders went from Shane Leckler um, and then we had Marquette King, who was pretty good, right? Obviously, John Gruden didn't want him, but he was pretty good. And then now we're with AJ Cole, like arguably a top two or three punter in the NFL, right? How, how things are for the Raiders you know we don't even think about it because we've been so um we've been so blessed to have a great set of special teams guys for the last like 25 years at this point however long it's been uh, since we had uh Leckler and Janikowski and now we got Cole and Carlson um it's interesting right how you go from one special teams group to another but uh, AJ Cole doing his thing um, let's get into some photos, man. You got Michael Mayer, who is supposed to be that superstar tight end. Uh, if you guys want to watch film breakdown of Mayer, let me know in the comments below. I've actually been watching this guy's tape a little bit, and I'll be the first to tell you guys. You know, I don't, I'm not a tight end expert at all, right? You guys can ask me about offensive line. I'll tell you everything you need to know about offensive line. You ask me about defensive line, I'll tell you guys everything you need to know. Uh, linebackers, I'm pretty comfortable with that position as well. But receivers, tight ends, running backs, quarterbacks, uh, safeties, corners, that's not the position that I've studied. And obviously, I'll make film breakdowns kind of talking about, you know, my thoughts and opinions on guy. But they won't be as technical. But I've been watching this guy, man, and he looks impressive, man. His jump back technique is, is ridiculous. This guy can absolutely, in traffic, catch it over anybody. And... Uh, he's supposed to be the guy for us, man. So I'm really excited to see what Michael Mayer can do for the Raiders this year. Uh, obviously, we brought in Austin Hooper and OJ Howard. Um, and we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, you got another picture here with Isaiah Paula Mal. Big things are expected out of this guy, man, for sure. At least in my opinion, big things are expected out of Paula Mal. Let's see if he can get it together and really uh, have a good season for the Raiders, right? We got to get better at the safety position. Uh, I think Marcus Epps was the one that I was talking today at his presser where he said something to the tune of, hey, we're young, right? We have a young secondary. When I hear those words, I hear we're going to we're going to suck. <laughs> that's that's what I hear when they say we have a young secondary. But Isaiah Paul Amal is a guy that I really, really like size wise. This guy has it um, football IQ. They say he has it. Obviously, we didn't see enough of him last year to really say if he has it or not. But uh, we're going to find out this year for sure. Um, you got Malcolm Coons here hitting a bag. Big things are expected out of Coons. Year three, he has to put it together. Hopefully, he sees the field. Obviously, he didn't see it a whole lot last year. But it's weird to me because his rookie year, he had a lot of really, really good reps in preseason in both rookie and even this past year, right? In the preseason. In the preseason this past year, he dominated. He was the best player for the Raiders in the last preseason. And for some reason, none of that translated to the regular season. And it's confusing to me why that's not happening, right? It's confusing. Are the, Is the team just not giving him enough snaps? Do they not trust this guy? Um, I remember talking to, um, uh, you know, guys like Brett Coleman about this guy. And uh, the other guy that's with him, EJ, you know, talking about Malcolm Coons and how much, you know, EJ was telling me how much he, he thought this guy could, how great this guy could potentially be, you know. Um, and it just never happened and his tape doesn't lie. So I'm not sure where the disconnect is. Maybe they don't trust him in the run game. Um, here's the other tight end that we picked up and this guy looks massive, man. Look at those arms on LJ Howard. Uh, obviously he's going to come into the Raiders and we'll see what he can end, what he'll end up doing for the Raiders. Um, you know, he's known definitely at this point more as more of a blocker as someone who's stronger can take on those guys. As opposed to a guy who's going to come in and, and have 800 yards, right? I think that is way past uh, what this guy can be. But uh, those arms are massive, man. Um, you got a Devontae Adams image here. Uh, we kind of talked about him already. Uh, 54, Natan Moody. I believe this is there. Uh, no, actually, I think that's Jermaine Illuminor here. Number 72, holding the bag. Uh, Moody hitting the bag. Not sure exactly what they're doing. Um, I, I'm not sure if he has this left hand down or right hand down as he kind of gets out of his stance here. Sometimes you can tell, you know, in an image, if a guy's lined up as a, uh, as a right guard or a left guard, um, based off of his body positioning to me, he almost looks as a 
as like a right guard. And I say that because when you're a right guard, um, your left foot is a little forward, your right foot's a little back, which turns your body this way a little bit, right? And you can see that his body is turned just a little bit. So uh, don't don't say he is a right guard, but maybe that's the position he's practicing. We'll obviously find out. That is, in my opinion, the position the Raiders definitely need to get better at. Uh, final image, you got Amari Bernie, 56, looks good. A lot of expectations for this guy as well. Uh, definitely a guy that I like in terms of his tape. Uh, will he be a superstar? Who knows? Anyone can be. Anyone can't be. Um, but he does look good on tape from his Florida days. Um, but will he transition to linebacker? We'll find out, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wanted to do something different. Just kind of go over some of the stuff from out there from OTAs. Um, you know, I do want to state this as well. Uh, this regime sucks in terms of putting content out. For some reason, they don't want things to get out there. They don't want people to see kind of what's going on. And it makes no sense to me. You know, the Dallas Cowboys literally let their uh, media guys get up into the drills and record. And the Dallas Cowboys are a massive brand. And Jerry Jones allows all that to happen. I believe it's his son. I think it's Stephen Jones allows that to happen, right? Um, these guys let the media get involved. Our media guys are like, on one side of the field and everything happens like 200 yards away and it makes no sense to me why they do that you know you're not going to learn a whole lot from a guy hitting a pad right and it really doesn't matter if uh, Jermaine Illuminor is putting his right hand into the dirt or if Mateo Moody's putting his left hand into the dirt none of that really matters right let's just be honest um but yeah that's the Raiders for you man uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.